Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, I want to talk about how to get better at PvP, what you need to do, what maps you should play, things you should consider, uh, different matchups, macro and micro gameplay, um, and just a bunch of variety of things that could help you get better at the game, especially if you just recently started out or also if you already have a decent chunk of experience. Anyway, anyway, before we get to the video, I want to remind you only 4% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider press the subscribe button if you're interested in variety of builds, in a variety of uh, gameplay, action-based gameplay, because that's what I try to base my channel on, and just uh, maybe a little bit of guides that I will upload from time to time to share knowledge that I was able to acquire after playing the game for probably 3,101 hours. So in today's video, this is what we're gonna do, and this is what we're gonna talk about. I'm going to play in the as a cleric, and I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that could help you possibly get better. But before we get there, I want to tell you one thing. The Goblin Caves. How do you get... Um, this map is where we're gonna play. The Goblin Caves. How do you get better at PvP? Well, the basic... Is the base concept is super, super simple. You gotta find people to fight, and you gotta find gear people to fight. Pretty much, if you find more people to encounter, you will start to get the feel of PvP, you will start to understand how things work, you will realize um, the patterns, attack animations, etc. As pretty much this is what this whole game is about. It's about PvP, this game is not PvE, there is very way too little PvE, and this PvE, um, I mean... It's alright, but uh, this whole game is literally a PvP arena mod with a little bit of PvE, and for the most part, this is what you would want to focus on, especially if you want to get better at the game. You can always learn how to get better at PvE, as it's not gonna require you much of time or experience, but it's always gonna be a little bit challenging to get better at PvP, as this is the uh, main intercourse, the interaction with other players, it could be quite challenging, especially if you're gonna come across veteran players. So pretty much what I would recommend you to do, especially if you're starting out, is to one, worry less about like whether or not you're gonna die. Dying is irrelevant, it doesn't matter, you would have to die over and over and over again to get better. This game, treat this game as a Souls-like game where each and every time you die you will be able to learn something. There is one very specific tip in particular that will get you better from the moment you will hear this. When you're gonna encounter, when you're being naked and you're gonna encounter the um, geared player, there is two options, there's two things that could happen. One, you're gonna get pinned on a big long sword or any weapon that that gear player is gonna bring with. Or two, you can try to get away. There is no other options. Fighting will lead you to death. And if you end up winning, it's likely due to some very, very lucky circumstances. In reality, the gear difference in this game is drastic and you gotta know your matchups. For example, each and every class in this game have a different variety of matchups and each and every class has different counters. So pretty much if you're a PDR plate fighter with 260 move speed, which is, you know, which is called um, lobster build or something like that, um, when you build up a very slow geared tanky build, but your biggest threat is going to be a wizard, and even a naked wizard will absolutely be able to cook you without any effort, because you will not be able to get away, and wizard is the biggest counter to um, plate fighters, or it's really also good to against clerics. But things, withers are not really, you know, that common um, in today's day and age. They're still pretty strong, but only when they're very geared. You are not going to come across those too often because I honestly don't even know where they're at. They can only counter clerics and uh, fighters and pretty much they're not that common. But, well, I mean, a good withered player will be able to counter every single class. But a good withered player is like one in a million. It's like a fucking, you know, to see a unicorn you know, or something, it's not that often, they're quite rare and they require a lot of time and effort to get better at. But this video is not about the withered, this, with this video is about uh, how to get better at the game. And pretty much one little thing I want to tell you, if you want to get better in the game, go and fight other players as often as you physically can, rush through doors, kill all the mobs, don't bother looting, come across players and start fighting, start trading hits, start to feel it for yourself what's worth. Unless you die hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of time, it's gonna take a, a while to adjust. I mean, if you want to avoid dying hundreds of times, you can try and play on 
every single class there is in the game and basically if you're gonna play on every single class there is a game you will learn the basic concept the basic mechanics of how does this game works in particular um i already played this game long enough that i already experienced every single class for at least 50 to 100 hours and pretty much the the majority of the time that i spent playing was on the rogue assassinating those classes and if you're a rogue player mm, well you had there is a two downside let's cover up a little um let's cover up a little guide for rogue as a rogue you possess a threat to every single class in the game but at the same time every single class possess a lot of threat to you if you mess up your invoice if people get you off guard well i mean chances of winning an open fight is going to be very low because for the most part rogue is not meant to be um, able to win a fight where um, you know he is seen the rogue is meant to be stealthy the rogue is meant to ambush people and when things works the way you want them to be pretty much you will not give a single chance to other players and that's just how it works well i mean or if you mess up and you run out of invis you put yourself in a bad position anyone who's gonna come across you will likely win the fight because as long as you can well when you can see a rogue the rogue does not really possess that much threat unless a mosquito build and mosquito build is for the other story but this is basically the way it sounds is like mosquito biting you doing little damage and this is exactly what that rogue it stands for low you know slight biting doesn't really possess much threat just really annoying so yeah i hope i covered a number of things at the end of the day at the end of the day i probably already mentioned that a couple of times the more matchups you know the ones if you want to get better at any class one you got to figure out what are the classes that you are capable of winning and what are the classes that are your counters once you figure that out your life is going to get way way easier so then you will be able to avoid the classes that you are going to have hard time and you will be able to use the advantages of your class to win classes that you, you are stronger as the class. Basically, the matchups right here, I'm going to explain them really quick. Cleric. Cleric be as of, as of right now, Cleric beats everything. So Cleric is out of control here. Barbarian. Barbarian loses to Cleric. It was originally the biggest counter and, um, you know, Cleric, e even in the North State, is still a Barbarian counter. Rogue. Pretty much can kill everything, pretty much can die to everything. Druid, pretty much same thing as a rogue, especially, but like it requires a lot of skill and um, have a potential to one-shot um, all the squishy classes. Wizard, Keter pretty much is extremely scared of rogue and when the rogues are popular, wizards are not as popular. Currently, rogues and rangers and um, rogues and rangers are quite popular. And when these two classes are very popular, that's pretty much the biggest counter to the wizard. And the wizard would not be that interested, you know, would not be that popular because only very few dedicated wizards players will keep playing as a wizard because as of right now, there is other classes that just perform way better. Warlock used to be S tier class as of right now it's um high a tier class not S anymore it's not i haven't seen that many geared warlocks and when i see them i stomp them even as a cleric even as a barb as a rogue i don't know they used to be extremely broken but i haven't really find that many extremely broken warlocks but they still have in basically infinite amount of health and infinite amount of um spells they could cast to be able to heal themselves so pretty much this is a pretty still decent class ability to heal yourself indefinitely is really pretty good fighter ability to deal basically the fighter is good when it comes to playing with a specific build that already made bunch of videos about the rondel dagger fighter is op and basically i already mentioned that a couple of times and i've made a number of videos not just one but probably three to five bard remains to be the strongest class in the game right after cleric cleric is s s tier bard is s tier then goes Warlock. Then basically after this, all the other classes. I hope I covered that up. Rogue is mid-tier 8 class, A class, because even though it can kill every class, it can still get two shot by Barbarian, it can still get two shot by Cleric, it can get one shot by Druid, it can get blasted out by Ranger, it can fucking get Magic Missile by a fucking Wizard, it could get cooked by Warlock, you put on two curses on a rogue, the rogue dies, you can die to a survival bow fighter, and the bard, as we all know, is just a better version of a rogue. Like I already mentioned, rogue is good, but only when you can use the stealth and when you can get the people off guard, and that's where the rogue will actually shine and be the absolute beast at it. Like, rogue is the best class at beast, the best class to rat people out, 
you're not making any noise you're making less noise than the druid in the right form when you're crouching out you're basically completely silent which makes this class still relatively good especially especially if you're patient enough to rat people but this class is not the most fun to play for a very simple reason because you can't be running around openly and if you do run around openly you would have to have a specific goal in mind on how you can get this thing works all right so after covering up majority of the classes and majority of the aspects of the game there is um basically the gear sets that i'm gonna tell you really quick what are the stats you want to aim as um no matter what class you're playing currently currently the most broken stats going to be a max health on armor max health on pants pretty much from these two pieces you will be able to get 12 health alone you can get three health on the gauntlets you can get quite a decent amount of chunk health right now is underrated and health is what you want to build basically health and agility dominates pretty much on any class no matter what class you're going to build those two are going to be really freaking strong agility and health but when you're playing on the rogue you want to aim for dexterity and agility when you're playing on a fighter you want to build probably a lot of health and pdr as well as agility because you want to be fast so pretty much the game is heavily dominated by three attributes agility max health and pdr basically the pdr is very important but um at the same time if you don't build even a slight amount of magic resistance the magic users will fuck you so no matter what class you're playing agility max health and pdr are the absolute most important attributes there is in the game all right so after we have covered up the um, basic ideas about like why you know what class is good how to get better at pvp how to get better at things what stats and what attributes you should be aiming for we're gonna hop in directly into the solo goblin caves into the high roller and i'm gonna show you why you should not be going to high roller and i genuinely consider high roller to be a complete waste of time we're gonna play at least five or so games and i'm telling you there is not gonna be that much pvp because people does not go to pvp in high roller people go to pvp in normals because with the recent gear score change that i made a bunch of videos about already that i already mentioned in previous five videos at least or so or very close to that number basically there is three gear scores 0 to 24 25 to 124 and 125 and above and basically you will not be able to find completely naked people when you're gonna go to normal gear you're gonna find someone who is also likely looking for some pvp anyway we got the goblin caves high roller we're gonna hop in the game we're gonna try to find someone geared and basically ideally ideally we come across someone to fuck with that would be really awesome because usually usually there is absolutely no players other than pve farmers in the goblin caves. as of right now high roller feels like a complete waste of time and if you want to look for pvp fights or you want to get better pvp fights the normals is where it is. Anyway, let's hop in the game and let's go clap some chicks. All right, so there was at least two geared players in this lobby. And um, the problem is usually there's a lot more geared players than normals than in high roller. We were still lucky enough to find some people. And basically, we're going to go and find them really quick. For the most part, when you start out, basically, you got to focus on two things. One, you got to deal with the mobs that are gonna be quite annoying <laughs> like yeah they do take a lot of hits and two well you gotta make sure you stay at full health so you don't get cucked there's gonna be a lot of rats playing a high roller and basically the high roller is more about rats rather than pvp it's about who stand their position who doesn't make too many mistakes Chances of winning a good rat is minimal because all they're gonna do is they're gonna sit behind doors for as long as the game. That's why I usually don't really like going to high roller because people have enough patience to sit for tens of minutes up until the game, up until the timer starts to run out. We're gonna go into the trolls room. Basically, this is one of the most important key and basic objects there is in a high roller. Troll usually drops a lot of good cheese, and basically, anyone who is more or less half decent or anyone who is have any interest playing the game for the most part will go to a troll's room and will try to either fight whoever is trying to farm the troll or will try to contest. I already see one player, even though he went to high roller, doesn't feel like he's scared at all and i'm not here to kill naked players i feel like it's a complete waste of time and if anything this map is map for p 
PvE, especially the high roller. Definitely not the... Oh, what the fuck is this? I completely don't see any form of gratification from killing naked people. I'm only interested to fight geared players. Like this guy, for example. Skinny Pete? Hello? Is that Skinny Pete himself? Skinny Pete, bro, it's... Oh my god, the skinny Pete himself. I like this red lizard, by the way. He is a very chill. The only thing I don't like about skinny Pete is the only thing he does is farming new players. But uh, it's okay, that's just what he does. Look, this guy seems like completely naked. Let me uh, judgment him. <laughs> he seems like chill. May the gods bless your soul. As for now, I'm gonna go loot my homie. Stay safe. My skinny Pete, my favorite red lizard. Alright, let's actually see what he has. Holy fuck, this guy says he never brings gear. Cap, my friend, what the hell? The biggest fucking cap ever in the existence of the dark and darker. Mr. Cappington. Ha, <laughs> he is not bringing gear, holy cow. Damn, what are the chances that I'm gonna fucking come across skinny Pete in literally the very first game? Sheesh. Listen, it's not me, brother. It's the game. Stop farming new players for fuck's sake. Go fuck with someone geared. Biggest part of the high roller is to actually going in and farming troll. There is really not that much stuff you can do. Probably it's not gonna be a bad idea to showcase how to pretty quick kill the uh, troll as the cleric. My whole gear is quite budget. Like, I never usually run anything that geared. The cleric, as is, has really good gear, and basically I would completely agree that this gear set needs to be slightly tuned. And basically, because the cleric, as is, gonna have a little too much PDR, and, um, but other than that, I don't complain. I love this class, like, holy cow, this is such a beautiful class. I actually completely understand uh, Firebox, why does he um, down talk to the cleric, that the class is not broken or strong or anything in particular. Because he is really enjoying playing this class, simple as that. Like, cause I've been having a complete blast playing this. Such a fucking OP class that it literally overshadows everything in this game in particular. Well, the beauty of the build that I'm playing with is that it doesn't really take that much effort to um, use, which makes this class really good. Basically, when the um, build will not have too many buttons to press, you only got only few things to focus on. And when you can focus on specific attributes, you can actually focus on getting better at mechanics. Pretty much as this build, basically all you need to do is put yourself in a good position to use judgment, slow people down, use your smite, and then hug people as tight as you can while trying to land headshot and dodging the attacks. That's basically the whole concept of how to be good, um, how to dominate, I'd rather say, all the melee as uh, playing with the build I'm currently running as right now. I'm genuinely surprised how easy it was to kill the troll as the cleric. Honestly, honestly, it's a lot easier to kill the troll when you are in the high roller than it is in the normals. Because the high roller boss have a um, little attack when he slams the ground and when he does slam the ground, you can pretty much quite easily, easily land double headshot. This is actually also a process of getting a better at PvP because when you have a stable income of gold, you will be able to take more parts in PvP while being more geared. Pretty much, being geared is actually very freaking important because acquiring the gear is literally equivalent of um, your skill set. This game is not anymore just about how good you're pressing W key or how fast you can click the left click. This game is about a lot of little different things such as macro management, such as gear management, such as about knowing who you can beat and who you're gonna lose. There is actually way too many things to consider, like such as spacing, such as... Well, I already mentioned a number of things, but... No matter how much yap I'm gonna be yapping today, at the end of the day, it's all gonna come to one little thing, and that's how much you're gonna be playing the game. The more you're gonna be playing, the more you will realize that you're getting better. And you're getting better the more you spend time playing the game. Pretty much with all the resources there is on YouTube, there is on my YouTube channel, 
and just as a whole you will be able to learn and progress a lot faster and a lot easier than all the veteran players did and they're pretty much getting completely cocked by majority of random circumstances um early on in the early play tests where there was no guys where there was nothing and basically it's just you and the dungeon and which made this game really really beautiful it still is but at time when the game came out it had a completely different vibe because you're basically exploring something that nobody has explored before as of right now i'm gonna be honest this game became an easy mod the number of things developers did to um, suit new players is actually ridiculous this game is not the game it was it's not as hardcore as uh, when it came out the amount of life quality features as of right now is insane because when the game came out there was only one tab of stash there was no ability to transfer items there was uh, no guides there was no nothing it was just you and the dungeon anyway let's go try to get more pvp clips in the high roller as for now there is literally nothing to do other than just farming the gold pile and that could be considered quite boring for the majority of the players all right so this whole lobby is geared pretty much everyone has something other than a couple of people that brought absolutely nothing but for the most part we have a lot of people to try and focus on the only problem is when people go into the high roller geared they're not really there for a fight they're there for pve which thereafter makes it quite fucking bothersome to track them all down because all they're gonna do is gonna rat their fucking balls off without trying to fight anyone reality of the high roller here it is let's go and try find and i'll put my best effort to find someone who is more or less half decently geared all right so i've spent fucking eight minutes trying to find literally a single soul and um as you can see there is literally nothing Everyone is so fucking scared for their life. Nobody is moving literally a muscle. And I don't even know where I can find them because I already traversed the whole map at least fucking once. Alright, I hear a plate fighter with the longsword. I'm not gonna mess around with him. Teabagging is high and white to, to the bottle. I'm gonna judgment him. Use smite, get close, one headshot, one body shot, one arm shot. And another headshot. Death. Alright, well, usually, usually, I would turn the lights off really quick. I would go back and if there is a shrine, I would go use it. Basically, I will be able to spot if someone is here more or less. Hopefully, I don't get ratted out. Usually, that would happen. The rats are sitting in the fucking corner. We're gonna pop a shrine and we're gonna go check what that fighter has. Alright. Yeah, this guy is geared, but the problem is he's the only geared player I was able to find. And the rest of the fucking lobby is just sitting on their balls, god knows where. But yeah, this is part of the reason why I don't like High Roller, because people are going here to PvE farm. They're not here to fight players, they're here to gain gold by doing a variety of things. Because this is where you will be able to get more stuff by just looting mobs and chests. And if you want to get more gold you're welcome to go to high roller because usually you will be able to get at least more or less of thousand gold especially if you're trying to farm troll i've spent three minutes sitting in the mid room i couldn't find anyone oh well i decided to take extract and there is one fucking guy who actually ended up going to the mid room the other guy you can clearly see okay they're either ap farming this guy literally does nothing he didn't kill mobs he didn't kill players he did nothing I played for a couple more high roller games right after and basically they were as dead and as empty as it physically could. In this game I found the rogue and hey rogue if you want to fight come to the middle I'm gonna be waiting for you in the middle. If you don't want to fight don't go to the middle then. Okay. So pretty much I've spent five minutes trying to wait for the rogue here and of course the guy is not here for a fight the guy to farm some AP or some gold or treasures. I've spent another five minutes trying to wait for him and there is absolutely nothing happened because this is the fucking high roller. Anyway, I'm kidding. 
No, no, I don't give a shit because, well, I know what I'm talking about when I said there is absolutely nothing gonna happen in the high roller and it's a complete waste of time. Anyway, with this, the video gonna come to an end. I just want to showcase why you should not be playing in the high roller. It's a complete waste of time. Don't bother, go do something better. Right after this game, I encountered a super geared rogue who was probably interested to go and assassinate people. And basically, right now, I'm playing normals, and um, I do believe I'm gonna come across this guy really fast, because usually, when geared people go to normal, they're there for the fight, they're not there to be a pussy-ass bitch. I simply walk to the middle, everything's cleared out, i already been here, up until the point I come across this rogue. Not sure if this guy knows what's up, but he is already dead. He fell in my trap. He decided to stand still and he died in a couple of hits. Very geared rogue. I inspected him in free lobby. Free gear. The elevator gonna come very soon. It's just about the matter of time. We're gonna go take it and we're gonna go into the next game. And that's why I genuinely love playing normals a lot more than playing high roller. Because not only you're gonna find there a ton of naked people there, but then you're gonna find gear people who absolutely would not be interested in finding you. I don't want to give this rogue a credit for not being a complete pussy ass bitch and actually looking for a fight. I respect this guy and um, if he's watching this video I'm willing to trade him some of the cheese back. Just let me know down in the comments. I decided to queue up another normal game just to go and fight more players just to show how much different the game is than normal in the high roller. Normal is for PvP, high roller is for PvE. Come across this guy who tried to block my hit and he died. Let's see what he has. He doesn't have much, but he has a lot more stuff than a usual inhabitant of a high roller. I went to the mid room to the extract. Usually, that's where the most action is gonna come across. I try to decide to blue pot because you never know when you're gonna get ambushed by a rogue especially if you have fucking shit jesus christ man mm, this guy is pretty gear by the way bro no, i don't want to fight him with until i have a smite but um, i'm gonna slap him with judgment a little it's like you know All right, let's see what this barp is capable of. I got my smite back. Will he be able to outtrade me? I doubt it. I'm gonna use blue pot just in case. It's your best bet. He went to the left, unless there is a door open. There is a door open. Hmm. Decided to fight me with headshot. Double headshot. Jesus Christ. Triple headshot. This guy triple headshotted me. Holy hell, brother. This guy's a monster, gotta give him credit for that. Oh look, there is a rogue right there. Did you notice it? Right in the middle. Okay. He decided not to bother. There is a one little trick you could use. It's actually, I call it um, mental abuse against decent players. People would be so lost in a fucking sauce when you do stuff like this. They, they will completely not understand what is going on. Judgment, smite, flows, headshot, another headshot. Well, okay, the second hit wasn't a headshot, but it works really well. The amount of different psychological tricks you could do on people when you get to certain skill point is actually quite ridiculous. Anyway, we gotta loot everything up and we gotta go into the next game. We got little too much cheese and probably this rogue is gonna end up getting some of his stuff back. <laughs> Anyway, that was a pretty good game. I'm quite satisfied with this normal matchup. And we're gonna go again. Anyway, it's Demo. I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out and see you in the next video.